Welcome to the introduction to my courses for faculty. I wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of how to get started with the course and a little bit about how the course is structured. The first thing you should know is that there are 12 learning modules or sessions in this course that will go over all the different kinds of tools that are found within Desire to Learn. In order to get started, it's pretty simple. You want to click on Content and then click Content again. When you do that, you're going to be taken into the content area and you're going to be taken to the overview of the course. The next step was what you want to do is click on the table of contents. When you click on the table of contents, it will then display to you a little bit of the first two modules. Um, so what you're going to see is the first session, the, intro, the D2L environment. And what's important here is that you won't see the other sessions until you complete this one. And there's a reason for that. We wanted you to make sure that you completed the environment course, the environment lesson, which goes over the basics of desire to learn and what's around and some of the terminology before you, be, before you get into the other tools in desire to learn. And when you're done with this, you'll, you'll, when you go through all of the materials in here in this session and get at least an 80% on the assessment, on the quiz, then the other uh, sessions will open up for you. What you want to do really is to go ahead and start and look into the Welcome to the Introduction to My Courses for Faculty, the Start Here module. And again, there's a little bit of information up here you certainly want to read. First, you should know that it's going to take you approximately one hour to complete each session, which would include the practice activities, and take approximately about 15 minutes uh, to complete each quiz per attempt in each of the 12 sessions. So you certainly want to look on the syllabus, but let me go into how the course is structured so that you have a, an idea of how each of these modules are set up. So again, what you want to see is uh, you want to see that there is a session description. There is an overview that gives you a brief idea about the, the tool. There's practice activities, tasks that you can use to complete in your sandbox course or in another course. And there's video, lots of video tutorials. Then there's a knowledge check. The knowledge check has two things in it. First, it has a faculty-to-faculty -faculty discussion area for you to discuss how to use these tools and what these tools do and how they're different and how they can be utilized to make for student success. And then there is an assessment. It's a five to 10 question based on the session topics, based on the, the, um, the video tutorials, and you must get at least an 80% on each of the assessments in order to receive your certificate. And then finally, there's some other resources, which would be links or some other things that are going to maybe useful for you to look at. So that's what you need to do. That's how you get started um, within the introduction of my courses. Your campus instructional design technologists are here to help you, and we hope you enjoy yourself in this course.